from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you. Until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus, fill my heart, you all welcome here. 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 little confession to make. When I was just a little boy, I was an avid fan of Superman. You know, I remember I would watch every animated TV show that featured the Man of Steel, as he is called. And I would catch every Superman movie from Christopher Reeve to Henry Cavill. And I would even save a portion of my daily school allowance in order to buy those DC comics. Superman, world's finest. Justice League of America. 
Did I have a Superman outfit or t-shirt? Well, you bet I did. Just a t-shirt. And, and I have memorized that introduction to Superman with a voiceover that goes, faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's... Superman, accompanied by that electrifying Superman main theme with the music composed by John Williams. Tan, ta, 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 tan. Tan, tan, tan. Ta, ta, tan, ta, ta, tan, tan, ta, ta, tan. Grave. And I have mastered the mission statement of the man of tomorrow. Cal L by name, who comes from planet Krypton. I have come to fight the never-ending battle for truth, justice, and the American way. Beautiful childhood memories. In time, we learn to outgrow all this childhood stuff, and we eventually discover that over and above Superman and all these super characters and heroes, that we have fancied is the one who does not belong to the realm of the make-believe, but he is the one in whom we believe, in whom we live, in whom we move, in whom we have our being. He is the one who has revealed himself to us as our way, our truth, our life. His name bears his mission, Jesus, God saves our Savior. And his mission statement is found in the Gospels. One of these is the Gospel that we have read. I have come not to abolish the law and the prophets, but to fulfill them. This explains why in the Transfiguration event, Jesus stands in the middle of Moses, representing the law, and Elijah representing the prophets. He is indeed the fulfillment of the law and the prophets. He who has come to do the Father's will also declares, I have come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. The question for each one of us is this, what have I come here for? Why am I here? Christian is our name. We carry the name of Jesus. We belong to his team. We belong to his league, kingdom of heaven. We are superheroes in our own little way and in our own right. And our greatness lies in this, that we obey his commandments. To love God with all our mind, with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our strength, and to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Our Lenten journey helps us to reset the direction of our life. If ever we have forgotten these commandments or set them aside or have gone astray, the three pillars of Lent serve as our project of life, prayer, fasting, and almsgiving, to relate with God in a more personal way, to do our daily duties more selflessly, to attend to the needs of our brothers and sisters more generously. In all these, as St. Paul would write in his letter to the Romans, chapter 8, verse 37, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. We are more than superheroes. Philippians 4, 13, we can do all things in him who strengthens us. Let us pray to him who gives us strength. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dearest Lord, you once declared that you have come that we may have life and have it more abundantly. You suffered, you died, 
and you rose again so that we may receive this promised life in abundance. You do not desire us to die for you. You want us to live for you. Help us to do so. Help us to begin anew. Help us to start all over again, here and now. Help us to make this our lifetime commitment, our daily pronouncement, our mission statement. Yes, Lord, here I am. I have come to do your will. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.